countless artists who have painted in Gloucester, the landscape itself, the light, the maritime economy, and its subject matter have been extremely popular subjects, if not the most popular subjects. In fact, I think it can be said that most artists who came to Gloucester to paint came here to paint the city itself. The thing that really captured my excitement, my imagination, was the fact that it was much more than a peninsula. It was a community that had these magnificent rock formations, this magnificent interaction with the sea, with the Bass Bay on one side and, and uh, Ipswich Bay on the other. It was just unique. You know, walking around the hills and just, you know, just the, the physicality of this place. I think there's something special about it. It's not like, you know, some cities are, and some towns are just flat. You know, there's no nooks and crannies. And, then, and it's the nooks and crannies that I think that, that are interesting about this place. drove by the Beacon Marine Basin and they had a sign there saying apartment for rent and I talked to Johnny Alexander and he said yeah not only an apartment but we can rent you a workshop. I was attracted to the place but I was also attracted to the fact that it was economically diverse, that there was a working waterfront, that there, were, there was some grit here. Those are the things that attract artists and inspire artists, is seeing people, do real people, living their lives. They're not asking to make changes here. They're appreciating what exists here and working within that world. We can walk downtown and see an industry at work. And it's not hidden in a factory or behind closed doors, right? It's, it's out in the open. Another thing about Gloucester that makes Gloucester's arts community strong is the kind of scrappiness. Using what resources are available and we're going to use those to make something cool happen. And I think that's an aspect of Gloucester that's in the arts and outside the arts. The surface is intriguing and then you try to get under the surface. Um, so you need both the intriguing surface and then the deep history. Musicians have to make music. Painters have to paint and that they're going to be doing it whether you support them or not. So maybe it's encouraging for artists when they say this is cultural center or this is an artist place, you know, and they can, they can walk down the street and say, yeah, I'm an artist and I'm living here. Yeah. Anything nature puts in the sea comes up. It is a cornucopia. What's happened in about the last 10 to 15 years, I think, is that more and more people are coming out of the woodwork and starting organizations or institutions or galleries. Now they're gonna arrest us, fine, let it happen. The camera panned from Nina to the men and women holding signs and placards. There is something about Gloucester that holds many people here. It's something about the idiosyncratic tolerance and um, the beauty, the history, something in the air. When I moved to Gloucester, I had a really lousy wood stove. 
So I became extremely intrigued with the material of burnt paper as something I could use that came out of trash and through what felt to me like an alchemical process, I could turn into my version of gold. One of the pieces I did was a piece called My Father's Coat. When my father died, I was about 25, and uh, one of the things I kept of his was an overcoat, and I wore that coat till it fell to pieces. So I kept it in my studio, and one day I looked at it, and it just sort of walked into a painting and said, I have to be in there. And I realized this was how I was gonna give my father a peaceful burial. Sometimes getting out into the city is, is, the, is where I need to go to, again, to access that other, the creative person. Getting out of the routines. I get inspired by interacting with something, whether it's people, whether it's a landscape, whether it's, it's in a book, you know. I need things to bounce off of and, and then recombine them in, in new ways. The fact that this is historically a port city, I think, and port cities are always more tolerant and open to the outside. Gloucester has been a working port for a long, long time. Whether or not it will be in the future is something we don't know, and is one of the things I think the artist community here is quite concerned about. Because if we are not a working industrial community, what will happen to the culture of tolerance and innovation and openness and still a sense of private existence from the mainland, <laughs> from the rest of the world, open and safe at the same time. Mm -hmm. 